Hi, my name is Alex Spencer, and this is a tutorial for Tuts Plus. Two-factor authentication, often referred to as 2FA, simply means using a password and a second factor to log into an application or website. In the beginning, many companies would use their own proprietary two-factor authentication by asking for both a password and then a personal identification code or passphrase before they signed in the user. More secure companies would send users a key fob or a USB stick that would generate a predetermined set of random numbers and letters. The user logs in by entering their username and password, then the random number or letter hash generated at that particular day and time. Only when both the password and the hash match up to what the company has on file is the customer actually logged in. Using a key fob system was a costly and time-consuming option for most companies as it involved manufacturing, processing, and shipping those key fobs. But now, thanks to the ubiquity of smartphones, companies like Google or Authy can create apps that act as those key fobs, thus eliminating the headaches of 2FA for companies and users alike. Now, 2FA is easy to implement and makes websites and applications you use much more secure. When secured by 2FA, a hacker would need both the user's password and their random hash. Based on the way that Google and Authy generate those hashes, the likelihood of a hacker acquiring both is almost non-existent. So why not spend a few minutes making the websites and applications you use daily more secure? In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to set up two-factor authentication on Slack using Google Authenticator and Coinbase using Authy. Let's get started. Slack.com, a popular social networking and chat application, recently announced that a four-month-long hack of their user profiles had occurred and been detected. While they assured the public that no financial data was compromised, they did admit that user profile data was. The silver lining to this very dark cloud was that the same day they announced the hack, they enabled two-factor authentication. To enable 2FA on Slack, log in and then click the upward chevron next to your username. Choose your account. Under two-factor authentication, click expand. Take note that you can use Google Authenticator, Duo Mobile, or Windows Phone Authenticator to activate two-factor authentication with your Slack account. I'll be using Google Authenticator. Enter your current Slack password and click configure two-factor authentication. Download either Google Authenticator, Duo Mobile, or Windows Phone Mobile and scan the barcode with the app. Once Google Authenticator has been downloaded through the App Store, installed on the phone, and then launched, click the Begin Setup at the bottom, then Scan Barcode. Hold the camera up to the barcode, and Slack will be added as an Authenticator service. Lastly, enter the authentication code from the Authenticator app into the website provided by Slack. Click Verify Code and Activate. So now if I go log out of Slack and try to sign back in, I'll be asked for my username and password, and I'll also need to provide my authentication code, which can be seen from my iPhone app. Now Slack is logging me in, and I know the application is much more secure. Coinbase is a great online wallet where you can buy, sell, or store Bitcoins. But because recovering a lost or stolen Bitcoin is next to impossible, I strongly recommend enabling 2FA before any transfer in and out of the wallet is authorized. In fact, as soon as you set up a Coinbase account, you should go ahead and click the phone icon to start enabling two-factor authentication. Enter in your phone number and click Next. If you've already downloaded and installed Authy as I have, you'll get a notification immediately saying that your Coinbase security code is ready. Open the Authy app and then enter the code. Click verify phone number and two-factor authentication has been enabled. If you don't already have Coinbase installed as an app on Authy, you can click add account, skip the backup part for now, and then scan the QR code provided by Coinbase, just as you did before. In this tutorial, I showed you how to use two-factor authentication on Slack using Google Authenticator and on Coinbase using Authy. But don't stop there. I strongly encourage you to create a list of all the applications or site you use daily and check to see which ones offer 2FA and which ones don't. If they do offer two-factor authentication, enable it as soon as possible there's a good chance they will use either Google Authenticator or Authy, and setup is basically the same for either app. If they do not offer two-factor authentication, encourage them via email or phone to do so. It is, after all, your information they are storing, 
So don't you have a right to ask them to protect it? Thanks for watching.